Today I'm going to demonstrate the correct clinical procedure for the placement of a resin fissure sealant. The clinical examination revealed that tooth 4-7 has partially lost its fissure sealant and the caries risk assessment indicates that this patient would benefit from having the fissure sealant replaced. The most important thing to remember is that effective isolation is the most critical part in this clinical procedure. The fissures were cleaned using a slow speed handpiece and dry bristle brush then inspected to ensure they are free from debris. Cotton wool rolls are placed lingually and buckly to isolate the tooth and then the tooth is dried again. 37% phosphoric acid etch is applied to the fissures using a micro brush, trying to keep the etch confined to the fissure pattern. The etch is left on for 15 seconds before washing off and with the 3-in-1 syringe. As acid etch has the potential to cause burns to the oral soft tissues and skin, care must be taken not to blast the etch off and shoot it out of the mouth. Once the fissures of the tooth and surrounding areas are completely free of etch, it could take around 10 seconds of rinsing to remove the etch effectively. Remove the wet cotton walls and replace with dry ones, ensuring that the tooth does not get contaminated with any saliva. If saliva contamination does occur at this stage, you will need to re-etch the tooth using the same procedure. Once the cotton wool rolls are placed correctly and the tooth is isolated, dry the tooth with a 3-in-1 syringe. Using a micro brush that has been well wetted with the bond, apply the bond to the tooth fissures. Very gently blow some air using the 3-in-1 to remove the excess solvent and disperse the bond. The tooth fissures should now have a glossy appearance. Light cure the bond for 20 seconds placing the tip of the light as close to the tooth as possible without touching it. The orange safety shield must be used to avoid damaging eyes with the bright curing light. Again check that moisture control is still effective before you proceed to the next step. Using a dical applicator or other suitable instrument, apply the fissure sealant resin to the fissures of the tooth, including the buckle pits, gently drawing the resin into all the fissures to be sealed with the applicator. Take care not to overfill or introduce air bubbles. Check that the resin has filled the fissures, there are no air bubbles and there is no excess leaking in onto the adjacent teeth. If there are any air bubbles, then these can be gently popped with a probe and if the tooth is overfilled use a dry micro brush to carefully remove the excess resin. Light cure the fissure sealant as before. Using a probe firmly run the tip round the margins of the fissure sealant to ensure that it is correctly bonded. If the fissure sealant lifts, fractures or is, a, is removed at this stage the whole procedure needs to be repeated. Once satisfied that the fissure sealant is correctly placed and properly bonded use a damp cotton wool pledget to remove the sticky polymerization layer. A small layer of toothpaste can be smeared over the fissure sealant to help lessen the taste of the new sealant. Remove the cotton wool rolls and let the patient rinse their mouth. Ask the patient to feel around with their tongue to make sure that they are no, there are no sharp edges or rough areas.